Well, uh, depending on when I get this uploaded, it will probably be New Year's Day. So, with that being said, Happy New Year to you all. Uh, as you watch this, it'll be 2013. And look at this. This is the brewing bench, uh, the fermentation bench, if you will. It's empty. All the vessels are empty. I've got nothing uh, brewing. So... I didn't think I'd managed to do it, but I'm going to knock out another brew uh, in 2012. This is New Year's Eve, and um, what the hell? Let's let's do one last brew for this year. <laughs> We're in the kitchen. It's the last day of 2012. Like I said, I didn't think uh, I'd get another brew uh, out of this year, but to hell with it let's crack on with it and what i'm doing guys is a wine a fruit wine today um i've brewed two wines the um, banana wine and the plum wine the plum wine is actually ready for bottling now uh, we're going to have a bit of a party uh, tonight new year's eve so i've got the bottles uh, ready sanitized ready to take the uh, plum wine so uh, what i thought was i'm going to brew up a banana wine. Uh, you've seen me talk about it in the other videos, you've seen the um, the clearing of it in the demijohn uh, and I didn't manage to film the bottling of it because it was Christmas Eve and I was really busy. So what I thought was now it's sort of died down and ready for more festivities tonight I've got a bit of time this afternoon to brew up another batch of, of the banana wine and I'm going to show you how it came out This is it. Uh, it's a bit hazy because of the. It's cold straight out of the fridge. Um, but just, uh, just look at how clear that is. And it's amazing because it's, uh, it's a real um, gloopy grey uh, mixture when you when you brew it up. I'll show you and it clears sort of on its own uh, one cabinet tablet and it's crystal clear clear as a bell so let's get to it so what you'll need for the banana wine uh, is two kilograms of banana uh, not too overripe you'll need 250 mils of grape concentrate now I use uh, 400 because the pack that I get comes in 400 and I'm not wasting it. Did it on the last one and it turned out perfect. Uh, one table, uh, one teaspoon of pectalose. Uh, I'm actually using uh, clearzyme. Um, tannin. I use um, a cup of tea. Just just make a cup of tea as if you, you would drink it normally. Don't add the sugar and milk obviously and just let it cool down. Uh, yeast nutrient. Uh, one teaspoon of acid blend or citric acid and obviously your yeast um, and there it is guys just use a wine yeast and uh, next step is chopping up the bananas and getting them boiling got to boil the bananas for 20 minutes and uh, that sort of releases all the sugars from it from the banana skins and everything and uh, I guess it pasteurizes it as well. So let's crack on with it. Okay, so we've got the bananas cut up now. Uh, I like to cut them down the middle of the banana and then just cut them up like that, skin and everything. And uh, what happens is if, as it boils up, the skin will just just fall off into the water. Uh, the last time I did it, I peeled the bananas, cut the bananas up, and then cut the skin up, and it, it took time. Uh, took up too much time, so if I do it that way, um, the skins will come away from the, the soft banana, and it's uh, claw boil up nice. Let's get them on the pan, and let's boil them up for 20 minutes. Uh, the amount of water I put in it, well, you're going to be filling up a gallon demijohn. Uh, this makes a gallon, so I just put in um, half a gallon. Just measure it out in the demijohn or whatever you've got that measures it out. It's not rocket science. And that is it. 
when it comes to a boil put the timer on for 20 minutes uh, keep giving it a stir and that is about it when it's when the mixture starts to cool down uh, I will then add uh, the sugar which I've left upstairs <laughs> uh, one uh, pound of sugar uh, the grape juice and all the rest and obviously the yeast when it's uh, when it's at around 21, 22 degrees Celsius uh, cooled down enough that's when you pitch your yeast also a large fine straining bag All right. don't get the large muslin bag uh, because they're not big enough you don't get all the banana in it so these are big enough to fit in a um, five gallon uh, fermenter so that's it guys Mm. Time for banana wine. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's surprising. Uh, you've got that sort of hint of banana uh, smell to it. Only a tiny bit though, and a little bit on the aftertaste. Not overpowering at all. In fact, if you poured this out and gave it to someone, if they asked for white wine, they would drink that and they wouldn't know any different. And I tell you what, it's it's lovely. It's not. It doesn't taste like a cheap white wine. It tastes like a good quality white wine. Give it a go because it's it's relatively cheap, um, and it's easy to do, and uh, and you get a gallon of perfectly drinkable uh, white wine I mean my wife has got some uh, quite posh friends and I wouldn't hesitate putting this out at a party uh, in fact it's staggering how much it is just like a exceptional white wine made with grapes that's what it tastes like but it's, it's hardly seen a grape perfect mouthfeel it's just dry enough not overly dry doesn't taste like some are really tart doesn't taste like that at all it's just just lovely so yeah I'm gonna put this in a playlist uh, this will be the first one with the uh, wine making playlist so enjoy it guys and uh, we'll catch up with these bananas when they've been boiling for 20 minutes 20 minutes to have a drink of wine. Okay. I don't know whether you can see, but it's starting to uh, bubble now. It's starting to simmer. So it's not long before this is going to start bubbling away. And as you can see, it's already starting to let go of its uh, structure, if you will. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir just to help it on its way. And uh, as you can see, the skin's coming off the bananas, so that's perfect. Okie doke, so we're about two, three minutes into a boil now, and uh, oop, fogging up. As you can see, you get we're getting quite a gloopy, thick sort of water, almost like wallpaper paste. Uh, and this is how it'll be, it'll get worse than this, obviously, after the 20 minutes boil but uh, don't worry about that it goes from a thick gloopy liquid like that thicker than that when it's done to that in about two months uh, with not much more than a cabinet tablet it clears itself it's amazing uh, but yeah you can see how clear that is so when this is done boiling up and making a mess of the stove uh, We'll get it into the bucket, cool it down and add the rest of the stuff. Okay, halfway through the boil now, it's been boiling for 10 minutes. And uh, just look how thick and gloopy that is. As the wooden spoon goes in, even at a shallow angle, it disappears. Uh, and that's how you want it. 
all them sort of starches and proteins are coming out of the bananas, releasing the sugars. And uh, and it is unbelievable that, that it clears to such a uh, sort of golden winey colour. But it does sort of self clears. So that's it. Okay, so 20 minutes is up. Uh, it's off the boil now. Real thick. It's got even thicker now. Really gloopy, like wallpaper paste. That is how you want it. Alright, so if you're getting this and thinking, oh shit, uh, don't worry about it. So, what we're going to do now is uh, set me bag in me food grade bucket and I've added the sugar underneath the bag just to save a bit of time and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pour this into there and then I'm going to hang it on the door handle to let it drain into the bucket that's the plan so let's get it done so there you go you've now got the banana wallpaper paste in the bucket with the bag don't forget to put your bag in obviously <laughs> and uh, I'm going to let it now drain Right, so I've just put it up here on the side, and uh, the lighting's not great, but there you go. You start to collect the liquid now into this bucket, um, so there'll be probably just shy of half a gallon, uh, or just shy of a quarter of a gallon in there after you've done with the boil. And I've, everything else is in this bag, which I've crudely tied up to the uh, cupboard handle. <laughs> Got to have a cracker. Anyway just let it drain now just let it drip on its own don't squeeze the bag because um, you'll you'll get more pulp through it and that's not what you want so yeah just let it drip and then when that's happened add the rest of the stuff put it in the damage on top it up and away you go so while we're waiting for that to drain into there and cool I'm going to add the tannin now which is a cup of tea just pour it straight into here. Like that. Perfect. Got a sanitised spoon as well. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir the sugar up while it's hot. Because now, uh, now it's been boiled and it's been pasteurised. Uh, everything that touches it now has got to be sanitised. So in the bucket now, we've got the drained uh, banana juice, pulp, uh, not the pulp, the banana paste, pasty liquid, and the kilogram of sugar, dextrose, uh, in the bucket so far and the one cup of tannin cup of tea well, that's a better look of it nice gloopy liquid from the bananas just to speed things up I'm hanging the uh, bananas and collecting it in a sterilised pan so I can just add it to this but I'm going to now get this in the sink and get it cooled down quick so we can add uh, the rest of the stuff to it want it at about 22 degrees so uh, we can pitch as yeast and start it fermenting. Right, so got it in the sink, cooling down with some water around it, and we're almost at the temperature to pitch the yeast. So I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients, the nutrients, the uh, grape juice, the citric acid, and the clearies. And uh, then all I've got to do is pitch the yeast when it's at temperature, and away we go. We've at a temperature of 24 degrees. Let's pitch the yeast. Because I'm running out of battery. Okay, yeast is in. Let's get it in the damage. Right, so battery ran out on the other camera, so I had to find uh, a different camera. So, anyway, we're in the brew room now. Uh, last we saw was me trying to put the yeast in. Don't know if I've picked it up. Um, but yeah, yeast has been pitched now. All the rest of the ingredients are in, uh, airlocks fitted, so that's it. Let's have a look at it. 
as you can see it's a gloopy uh, mixture and I've not topped it all the way up because uh, I'm anticipating some vigorous fermentation if I top it all the way up here it's not leaving much room um, for all the mess so that's it that is a banana wine gallon of it and that is the last thing God, it looks quite lonely there doesn't it that's the last thing uh, brewed of 2012 so tomorrow I'll be able to say that that's been brewed last year perfect <laughs> two months time that'll be ready to uh, to bottle and enjoy so that is it yeah that's it guys for me for 2012 uh, Hope you all have a good one and uh, this will be the start of the wine making series uh, in the playlist. Banana wine, perfect. So have a good uh, New Year's, see you in 2013 and uh, stay tuned. Cheers guys.